So I'm looking for the whizzer, which is why I swim my left arm on the inside here at the very start, I'm trying to overhook his right arm. And from the whizzer and leg read. There I went for an attempt, but I just wasn't quite deep enough. Here he gets penalised for uh, holding onto my shorts. Not a big deal. Didn't take it personally. It is what it is. Right, here we go head to head. And as you can see, he's got the dominant angle. But I want that, okay? So what I'm going to be looking to do is getting my left arm, the blue, over his right arm, the red, getting the overhook. By pulling him down on the neck, he pushes away, which gives the space for the wizard. From here, I'm going to pull him forward and over the top of himself, whilst also reaping his leg from underneath. Okay, what that's going to do is it's going to off balance him. In this case, it worked so well that he went down straight away. The only thing I had to do was eliminate the posting arm. Once I'm on top, he's very good. He gets his legs in. I try to control his legs. Play. So I ignore my corner and I decide to wrap the legs, or at least attempt to. My opponent establishes his frames quite nicely. He's trying to keep me away from crawling too far up his, uh, his body. I'm trying to look to double wrap the legs. Swapping sides, trying to pass the guard as well. Here I manage to wrap his legs, and what I'm gonna do is lift them, whilst also pressing down into his torso. This is gonna create tremendous pressure and allow me to move into side control, whilst also tiring him out, as he can't move properly. His only defense now is his arms. Now here I move my left knee to try and block his legs from re-establishing guard. He's doing a very good job of keeping his frames in. He even manages to get his guard back nearly there. You can't see it from this angle, but my opponent shoots through a guillotine. Uh, it's not particularly a submission you're going to finish from side control, especially if you're on bottom. But the threat's still there of him establishing his guard whilst he's got the grip on my neck. Get the uh, get the cross face. Is he, he's coming close to re-establishing guard. So I go back to wrapping. He gets his shins in. Here I think I finally managed to consolidate side control. And then during the scramble, I sit on his head. I don't know what this position is officially called, but I really like it. It's a very dominant position. Opponents on their side, you're sat on their head, they can't move much. I get the Kimura grip, there's lots of opportunities for attack there. I opt for the Kimura. During some space, he gets a leg and drives. I don't care, I've got the Kimura. Taking a book, uh, a page out of Catch Wrestling's book. Everything revolves around the submission from this point on, being as I've got the submission grip. I know that we're going to flip over, and I'm ready for that. And that's where I plan on finishing it on my back. There you go. Nice work by both of us. Big shout out to my opponent didn't get this one. He felt like he was quite new to the sport. Uh, when we first started grappling, those first couple of grappling exchanges, he felt very tense. Uh, and that can happen during your first couple of ones. It can even happen when you've been doing it ages. But um, yeah, I hope for next time he's ready.